Yeah. So you can take your camera and go downstairs with it. Or we could get security to handle this. Okay, yeah, if you want to get security. Look at all these kids around here, and he's saying effing <laughs> and acting that's like this. Awesome. Because you're recording around children, and that's totally against everything on my belief. You know what? Oh. You cannot have video cameras. We have to ask you if you have any certified yeah, media credentials. Yeah. Colorado Library Law does protect paint patrons' confidentiality when entering library spaces. What was that that you were referring it's to? Colorado um, Library Law. If you violate our policy, and then I have to ask you to leave. You have no authority to tell me that I can't record anything in this public library, ma'am. This is open to the public. Because of the expected privacy that our patrons have, and, mm -hmm. and the fact that many of them believe that this is harassment. You can't turn a First Amendment protected activity into harassment, sir. Okay? Come on, man. That's ridiculous. Uh, folks, you can't be filming in the library right now. It doesn't give you permission to film me. Don't be filming me. Hey, let's uh, call 911, please. Please call 911. Please call Please. They want to violate certain people's rights simply because they're black and poor. So you think that I'm recording you and violating your rights because you're black and poor? I'm calling the police on you. Are you calling the police? It is private property and all that, so... This is private property? Yeah. So I'm on private property right now? Yeah. How's it going, man? What's going on? Oh, not much. Just taking some footage over here. Uh, about what? Uh, I don't know yet. All right, I know you have the right to record, but this is a kid's area, it's a yeah. little shaky for you to be recording. Well, it's not shaky area. at all. I mean, the law is black and white, so <laughs> I'm not recording. Yeah, but there are case. children underage here. Yeah. So you can take your camera and go downstairs with it, or it could get security to handle this. Okay, yeah, if you want to get security. So we've got the guy with the blue line uh, bandana on his face. Yeah. So for, of course, he's the one that gave me crap about oh, it. Oh, of course I am. <laughs> So we got this guy gonna go get security on me because I'm, I'm in here uh, where the children are. It's a library. There's gonna be children all over the place. No, so we got the blue line guy here, freaking out, <laughs> acting a little unprofessional, mm -hmm. getting a little irate, throwing a tantrum. Yep. All right. Yeah. Okay. This guy's a little upset. I am getting upset. We got one of those. We got a, what do they call it? A Darren? <laughs> a Darren? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a Darren here. I got a camera too, buddy. Yeah, go ahead. It's fine. That. You can take pictures. You're not afraid of a camera. Hey, say hi to YouTube because you're f***ing live. Welcome to the, uh, the 1A movement, man. <sighs> okay. Well, you guys so, we got, so we got this guy who's using the F word uh, around children. Uh, and he just was concerned with me recording children, yet he's using the F word around children. And he's got his camera on some kids in the back there. I don't have a camera on the kids. I'm actually I don't have our camera it. on the kids either. I never did. Can you please leave or I'll call the f***ing police and have them get you out of here. Look at all these kids around here and he's saying F <laughs> and acting it's like awesome. this. Because you're recording around children and that's totally it's against it's everything on my belief. You know what? Oh. Get the f*** out of here with their f***ing Go! Chad, calm down, Whoa. Chad. Wow. Whoa. I guess we just had a mom. She just complained that you filmed her kid back here. No. So been been filming any children. Children. Is child we weren't kid? filming children. I never even filmed a child. Okay, so. I came in here and was recording him. Oh, okay, so that's what, I don't know. So he she made contact. Yeah, no. she's she's calling the Aurora police because she said you're filming. Okay, okay. Well, we'll wait till the police get here then. That's just ridiculous. Show just show them. Can you show him? Can you show what? Just show the officer what you, let her know what you filmed. Yeah, I mean, well, he broke his water bottle. Uh, Did he break it? On the floor, is sure. it all, is there water Let's on the ground? Let's go check it out. And, yeah. and I'll show you guys the aftermath of this. This was... Oh, here he is. Um, this is the guy right here, guys. They have to say four children. We don't even have a policy. But, hold on. Hi guys. Hi. Hi. I'm uh, the manager of public services okay. uh, for the whole library thing. All right. Is there anything we can do to help you? Uh, actually, yeah. I would like um, to know why he went ballistic and was using a lot of profane language around the kids in this area. 
I mean, because you were that, filming kids, and I don't believe in filming children. We weren't filming kids. <laughs> we weren't filming kids. Oh, look, he's, oh, he's acting geez. up again. This Put that on your YouTube table. channel. Dude. Dude. No, fucking get you shut down like that, you c Wow. Dude, someone needs to go home today, I think. Okay, so I, I would be surprised if that guy still has his job after this. I mean, that's I mean, just that ridiculous. It's absolutely crazy that they hire people like that to work and, and with kids. Hey. For a second. Sure. My name's Thomas. I'm the director here. Okay. Can I ask what, um, just out of curiosity, what you're filming today? Library. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, can I just, um, so there's a pretty, um, Colorado library law does protect pa patrons' confidentiality when entering library spaces. Mm -hmm. So can you try to, in any footage you have, avoid people's faces or edit them out? Can I get your name? My name's Thomas Samplinay. Okay. Uh, well, you said what was that that you were referring it's to? Colorado um, Library Law. <clears throat> Is there a CRS? Um, I can look it up. Yeah. 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 Can you can you look it up and bring it to us? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. I'm not entirely sure. I so I. Um, well, should you find my, that out first? Yeah, my, my <laughs> background was in um, Massachusetts, so I'm not entirely sure what Colorado protects that Massachusetts does not. Um, we just there is an expectation of some level of confidentiality in libraries. Um, I don't know if that specifically translates to video necessarily. So in okay. Colorado, hmm. so I'll do some research and get you an official answer. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 Just give me five minutes, or yeah. maybe a little longer. We could actually save you some time. We uh, there's no. Um, expectation of privacy in public. Okay. Uh, United States Supreme Court uh, case ruling, uh, Cats v. U.S. Okay. Um, and we're very aware of the the laws in Colorado. Okay. So, okay. but if you want to do your due diligence and see if what you can come up with, we yeah, I, encourage I, you to do that. Yeah, I trust y'all. Um, I, but I will look it up just okay. for my own sanity. Sure. <laughs> no problem. Yep. Yeah, we're, and uh, we're just here to peacefully record the your area, and sure. we're not here to. Uh, disrupt your library or Absolutely. interfere with people studying but if they're inadvertently on our camera we're, we're not going to blur it out or okay or anything like that because I mean we have a lawful right to be here yeah okay. I just wanted to check in and then go over all that with okay you. so I'll do all some right. research okay all right cool Thomas. apologize if I gave you wrong information that's fine hi there hey so I wanted to apologize for earlier I wasn't trying to no that's fine. make you not feel welcome here um I in quick research can't find anything pretty quickly um so i think it's all fine okay. um i do apologize again if you could leave me just some contact info so i could get back to you once i hear from my lawyer with regard to that you um, want me to give you your contact info so you can talk to your lawyer in regards to us being here i just want to make sure just with regards to any films of students uh, so i actually record my uh, nephew sports games all the time okay. in public and it's not a crime okay so they don't have expectation of privacy either they get recorded on people's dash cams and people's sure. cell phones at disneyland so it's not illegal to you like i say we're not here to record juveniles we're here just to do okay. our little story and then but it's just you know trying to um, make people aware of of uh, what people have the right to do and what they have sure. the right to not do. So Absolutely. this is a public space, like I said, uh, yep. Cats vs. United States. Uh, we're all, there's no expectation of privacy in public. This is a public space, so sure. we're allowed to record anything we can see in here, including uh, juveniles. Sure, okay. All right? Okay. Okay. Then. But I'm not going to give you any contact info, but we do appreciate you being cordial with us. Okay, I'm just trying to, this is honestly, um, I'm a new director. This is my first time dealing with this. I'm just trying to do my due diligence and no, make and sure I that I follow all that. the rules and laws that are in place. Um, and that's all I'm trying to do. So. Sure. And we encourage you to do your due diligence, to speak with your attorney or whatever. That way, the next time someone Absolutely. comes in here with, with cameras. Yeah, yeah I, I, I think that's very wise. Uh, okay. <laughs> so I all will right. be doing that um, mostly. So I don't put myself in a blunder like this again. So. No, you're fine, man. Okay. Thank you, Thomas. You're welcome. All right. Um, let day. us know if you need anything, okay? We will do. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Thomas. You're welcome. I appreciate you. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, Denver Metro Audits, AKA the Mile High Auditor. We're back at it again at Belmar Library. Thought I was done here, but I actually saw something disturbing. I saw Amazing Audits come over here to do a follow-up on these guys. Donahole and I stopped coming because we thought they learned their lesson. Oh, here we go. Hi there. Hi. How's it going? Good, how about you? Good. What's, what's going on here today? Uh, nothing. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to let you know that, of course, you're welcome to 
um, walk around and film the library and the staff and our operations, but we do have a policy here that um, we ask you not to film other patrons without their consent. Okay. Um, did you make arrangements to to come in and film today? Did do, you speak? Do with I need to make arrangements? No, I'm just just. Okay. Um, and your name's Beth. My okay. name is Beth. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, actually, you're the reason why uh, I'm here, because I actually, unfortunately, saw the video on YouTube uh, where you called the police on another person who came in here to exercise his First Amendment right and record in public. Uh, so that's why we're here. Actually, I was okay. the first one that came here uh, several months ago, and you guys gotcha. called the police on me, and um, they tried to trespass me out of here, and it didn't happen. Uh, and we came back for a follow-up visit, and it, there was a leak, and Padma, the PR person, came. And she gave us a, a, a public tour, yeah. she rolled out a red carpet for us. So we thought our, our work was done here um, at Belmar Library. And then again, unfortunately, I saw that you guys uh, called the police on uh, so another person here that likes to record and exercise his rights. So uh, that's why we're back. We okay. unfortunately had to come back again, but um, I understand that you're uh, bringing up your policy and that's fine, ma'am, but the policy is actually for the employees, right? Because I'm not bound to that contract, so I don't work uh, here. No, so. that's the, it's actually, um, oh. it's our code of conduct policy for, for but it's not a law. That's not a law, is what I'm saying. So, like, I follow the law. Like, I can make a policy too, like no red shirts or something like that, right? And if it's a private, like a McDonald's, it's fine. They can say no red shirts because they're private. But this isn't private. This is public. So you can't just say no red shirts, and you can't just say no recording, right? Sure. So, so um, you can do whatever you want to do, ma'am. But we're going to peacefully um, record in here. We're going to okay. utilize your library as it's intended to. We might want to check out a book or something like that. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. but we, but we're not here to um, antagonize the patrons, ma'am. We're here to be peaceful and just record your library. Um, and if the patrons are inadvertently in our our view, that there's nothing that we can do about that. But it's not against the law it's, to record a patron. It is not. Yeah. Um, I am going to ask you to respect any requests that are made to you to to not film other patrons. Okay. Um, if you do not respect those requests, then you are in violation of our policy and I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Okay. If you do not, if you violate our policy and then I have to ask you to leave. I can't speak to any particular incidents that have happened in the past, but if you're in violation of our policy and we ask you to leave and you do not, then yes, we might, we might involve law enforcement okay. to support I'll us. I'll tell you what, you know what However, you should do, Beth? How about you just call the police now and get I'm, it over with? Because we're, gonna we're you're that. not going to bully us, man. I'm not going to do that. I'm not okay. trying to bully you. You might want to get in As contact with Padma, the PR lady, and I, uh, before I'm, you do something stupid and get yourself put in a blender. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. That, that was, I think you misunderstood me. You said you're going to call the police on me if not. I report patrons, ma'am. I did not. If I don't follow your policy and code of conduct, I ma asked you to respect our other patrons and their requests. As long as you do that, you're welcome to visit the library, walk around, film, use the, our resources, whatever you would like to do. I'm giving you a heads up that this policy does exist, and I'm asking you to respect our other patrons and their wishes. Well, I have a policy also, ma'am. It's just my own personal policy that everyone I come in contact with has to give me five bucks. So I'm asking you nicely and politely to give me five bucks. Can you do wow. that for me? I'm just giving you a heads up. I'm just giving you a heads up too, ma'am. Sure. Feel free, please, feel free to film the library, film our staff. If you have any questions, you're welcome to seek one of us out. I'm asking you again, just respect our other patrons and their wishes to not be filmed. Ma'am, again, I, if they I already told you that I'm not here to, to interrupt okay. their, their uh, studying or something like that. Then but, we're on the but same it, page. But if, if somebody comes up to me and they're on my camera, there's nothing I can do about that. So um, I'm if, not going to point my camera down. I'm going to, to record the library as intended. But uh, If someone asks uh, you not to film them, I'm going to ask you to turn your camera away okay, from well, them. Okay, well, I'm not going to do that, ma'am. So again, I'm not here to antagonize or to put camera in someone's face that doesn't want to be recorded, okay, but that's an unlawful directive please. that you're giving me, ma'am. So not... you have no authority to tell me that I can't record anything in this public library, ma'am. This is open to the public. I have a first amendment right. I hear what you're Cats saying. Cats vs. United States, ma'am. No expectation of privacy in public. This is a public setting and we are here to utilize the library as intended. And we are also here to document our interaction today, ma'am. All right. Using the library as intended, 
implies extending the courtesy to other people to do the same. So please, to the best of your ability, don't impinge on the use of, of other people's use of the library. Can you please, to the best of your ability, uh, give me five bucks? <laughs> you know, actually, I would like to talk to you, though, about sure. uh, what was, since I have you here, Beth, uh, what was the reason why you called the police on? I saw the whole thing. He didn't even engage with you. You guys followed him around. You kept pressuring him, and I, you called I the police on him. I can't speak to any other incident. I have. It happened a week ago. I, I can't speak to any other That's incident. That's probably a good idea that you just don't do that and let Padma take care of it. I'm delighted to answer any questions that you have. Well, that about was a question that I asked. It's about the library, okay. too. Uh, why you called the police on a free American who was just exercising his First Amendment right and had him removed physically. You, you initiated violence on him to have him removed from I, a public space. I, I am not going to speak to a, another incident. I'm going to protect that patron's privacy and not discuss the incident. Okay. If he were here, I would be happy to discuss the incident with him and do some follow-up conversation. But I, I'm not going to discuss any other person's use of the library with you. That sounds fair. Okay. All right, Beth. Like I said, feel free to film. Um, yep. Please just, please um, be attentive to not filming other patrons. Are you the public service manager? I am. So uh, you no, took Joanna's I'm, place? No, I'm sorry. I'm the public services mm -hmm. supervisor. Okay. Are you above Joanna? No. So Joanna is your Joanna supervisor. Joanna is no longer with. Oh. Jefferson County. Did she, uh, did she quit or did she get fired? I'm not going to answer that. Oh, okay. Because she actually was terrible last time I'm here. I'm sure you probably heard of the video. So, All right. You have a good rest of your day, Beth. Okay. Okay. Do okay. better. All right, guys, so you saw it here. Hey, how's it going, man? Good, how are you? Good. What did you think about that interaction? My guess is you're legally in the right. We are. We've done our research. But I also I don't understand the point of the exercise. It's like you have a right to do lots of things, but what's the point of it? Well, did you know that... Um, you can't just drink protein shakes to get buff. You have to actually exercise, right? Protein shakes help you, right? That's what. I'm just, I'm just wondering, like, what's what's your goal? What's your aim of doing this? I'm trying to explain that. Yeah. So, so protein shakes they only aid you in building muscle, right? The same thing with the Constitution. The Constitution doesn't actually give you rights. We have natural rights, but the Constitution protects your rights, right? I'm not so, disputing any of that. I'm asking what what's the particular goal of coming to the library well, and filming, if, as opposed to like. The, the state capitol building, any rally, anything like that? I've already done the state capitol building. I, I mean, I record a lot of uh, public buildings, sir. Um, just, but the just, reason is because uh, I was trying to get to that, is that if you don't exercise your rights, you don't have rights. They're like a muscle, right? So if the thing is, is that... Um, well, I appreciate if you what you're saying, but you, I have the right to hit my finger with a hammer, right? But I'm not going to do it. it well, no, that seems like a destructive thing to do when exercising your rights is a productive thing to do. Yes, ma'am. Yep, yeah, that's no problem. Let me just get a little bit closer to you, bro. Oh, so I'm just curious. I don't have to holler. Yeah, because I got to kind of keep it loud on this uh, this microphone on the live stream. It's not too great, so. Oh, yeah. But, so anyway, no, you're so recording just, me. I'm recording you. Yeah. It seems, it seems kind of pointless. Well, I mean, you don't have to record me. I only recorded you because I saw you recording me, and you seemed it looked like you wanted to engage in a conversation. So I was trying to explain the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. But, you know, like if you don't exercise your rights, they're just laws written down on a piece of paper. That's it. So that's why we do what we do, just to make sure that public employees like this librarian Beth here is, is not trying to trample on people's rights and call the police on them and have them removed when they're just being peaceful in the library. We're not trying to cause a disruptance or anything like that. Well, I'm not going to post my video. Do you, you're posting yours, I think. What's your, what's your name? I don't just know if I'm going to post anything. It okay. just depends on how the interaction goes. So. Okay. Do you want to give your name or not really interested? You know, I, I don't think so. I wouldn't like to give my name. Do you, have a, do you want to give me your YouTube channel? I don't want to give you my YouTube channel either. Okay. I'm probably fine. All right. All right. I don't have any more questions. Okay. Well, have a great day. You too. All right. Well, here's the guy right here, guys, that was rude to me last time uh, while I was here. He told me to put some meaning into my life. So we'll record him. You guys can see on the original video. 
How's it going? I ended up putting some meaning, meaning into my life, man. You'd be proud of me. So, looks like you got a lot of meaning in your life. Your, uh, your, your fellow uh, librarians, they uh, called the cops on someone else here for recording, so. Get out of here. You can't record me. Go away. Get out of here. I can't record you. Go away. You haven't learned your lesson still, man? I've learned my lesson. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, he's saying get the F out of here, guys. So a librarian on the clock is telling me to get the F out of here. Okay, we'll be filing a complaint on you Why for your conduct. You? Why are you filming me? Go away. I'm filming you because last time, you remember how rude you were to me? You told me to put some meaning into my life. Remember that? That's why I'm recording you. It's called a follow-up. Just test your conduct to see how you're going to do and you're failing still. You still haven't learned your lesson, bud. Don't talk to people like that. All right, guys, so I'm going to be sending an email to... Really? Uh... really? What's up, man? How you doing? And here's the second one, guys. These so two canbacks over here are nothing but protesters. He says we're nothing but protester, protesters. I know my audio is not good on the live stream. So we got a hater over here, guys. He's shaking his head at me. So you are disturbing us, and we're asking you to leave, please. I'm disturbing you, and you're asking me to leave, please? Is that what you said? Yes, I'm asking you guys to leave, please. You can't ask us to leave, sir. Let's disengage, okay? Yeah. So, the, Rihanna's doing a great job, guys. Uh, told this guy to just disengage with us, so. So this guy's been following us around, I've noticed. He was the one that was creeping over there. Uh, oh, plus, I posted a YouTube video about that guy. Oh, you were here for that? the other day. You were here for that? Yes. Okay. I'm here every day. Okay. Just in case, if guys like you come around. Just in case guys like me come around? Yeah. He said he's here every day just in case guys like me come around, guys. That's what he said. And, uh... Brianna's doing a great job to, uh, to de-escalate the situation before this guy gets put in a blender himself too. He's just a kid, guys. He's a teenager, but... Hey guys, Never Met Your Audis, aka the Mile High Auditor, back at it again at Belmar Library for another follow-up because they didn't do a good job last time. We're, what are we doing? Yeah. We're doing a little story on the library. Okay. Yeah. I just want to be sure my kids are safe. Safe from us with cameras? Yeah, I don't know what you're doing. Well, what do we do that would be nefarious with a camera for your kids? <laughs> Film them without my permission? How about that? Oh, okay. You well, you know you're in public, right, ma'am? This is something I've never understood and I'll probably never understand, but it happens on almost every audit. People who don't want to be recorded initiating a conversation with the guy holding a camera. I was about 30 feet away from this lady with my back turned when she started a conversation with me. So I turn around and walk towards her. Her children are standing next to her, so of course they're going to be in view of my camera now. Common sense just isn't too common. You cannot have video cameras. Can you identify yourself? You're giving us directives. Yeah, my name's Chad. I work for Chad, Chad Cavanis. Chad, another Chad. So the deal is um, we have to ask you if you have any certified media credentials. Certified uh, media credentials. Hold on, hold on a second. Do you have uh, any credentials? Well, I'm gonna, let me ask you a question. Do you know who Pardon provides me? credentials? Uh, it has to be a certified media. Show, but I'm asking, do you know who provides uh, media credentials? I wouldn't know. I'll, I tell, only... you, I'll tell you, because you don't know. The government doesn't provide them. It's the affiliates in which they work for. I understand. I understand. Look, look, look. No, hold on, hold on, wait. No, don't be No, I don't, let me, let me but I don't talking. make let the rules. Talking. I only enforce them. I, right and you're going to ask me philosophical questions. I follow laws. And that's all I'm trying to do. Respect to I asked you for credentials. So my point is, is that my point is that you have to offer certified media credentials. I don't know where to get these. I don't know. It's not my job. I'm trying to certify. I don't know, and it's not my job. Let me talk. If you talk over me, I'll I don't know, and it's not my job. Let me before. 
Don't even think about blocking me, bro. I already know what I can do and what I can't do. The guy's gonna t talk over me, not let me talk. Oh, okay. Do you have uh, Padma's card, ma'am? Ma'am. Then I think of another one now. Or add some different numbers. Okay. Try that. this lady ignoring yeah. us. Hey, ma'am. Uh, so this lady will talk to us. Uh, hey, ma'am. Yeah. Is there a reason why this lady here is ignoring me? I'm trying to talk to her. Do you have a library question? Yes. What's your library well, question? I was asked, wondering why she's ignoring a member of the public that she works for. Oh, well, if you don't have a question, then... I do have a question I was going to ask her, but that she just completely ignored me. That's totally unprofessional. Would you like to ask me the question instead? I'm going to ask you, but I want to... Why would she do that? Why would she just ignore me like I'm that? I'm not sure. Can I get her name? Because I need to file a complaint on her. Her name is Sharon. Sharon? Mm -hmm. Okay, we got Sharon here, guys, who just wants to ignore me. Totally rude. That's unacceptable. So, Can I get your name now? Elizabeth. Elizabeth? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Right, Did guys. you have any other questions? No. Okay. All right, guys. Elizabeth does a great job. Thank you, ma'am. Good afternoon. You too. So Elizabeth does a great job. Uh, Sharon, you should take some lessons from Elizabeth. Um, you can't just ignore us, ma'am. We we actually fund this building. We pay your salary. So you can't just ignore us because we have cameras, right? We have a lawful right to do this. Right? She should lose. Cats v. U.S., United she States Supreme lose. Court, case law. There's no expectation she of privacy in public. This is a public facility. So that means we have a lawful right to record in here. So you can't deny us service just because we have a camera, I'm man. We're being able. respectful, so you need to do better, okay? That's unacceptable. I'm going to file a complaint on you. Right in front of us, yeah. I don't pay you Perhaps. to just ignore me, man. Donna and Elizabeth. I, I pay you to service me. Plus one yeah. more. So you don't want to, if you want to ignore people like that, you need to start your own business. So you can do that and you can go out of business. Time for your break. It seems like Chad's. How many Chad's have we ran into, Sweet Tea and I, doing this, guys? Uh, it's like Chad's at libraries, apparently. I mean, it's the third Chad at a library that we ran into, guys. So this is crazy. There's Chad, guys. Um, yeah, so, so far, I mean, we've done everything we can. I mean, um, within uh, grounds of like running the voting voter service polling yes. centers. Mm -hmm. um, whatever the library wants to do is up to them as well. Yeah, so yeah, you just, you guys abide by your policies and mm -hmm. then we'll, we'll do our thing. Too, okay, so. yeah. sweet, yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah, we, we're actually not gonna go over there. We actually did get clarification. Chad, Chad, I'm talking to you. Chad, sure. I'm talking Regardless to you, of what sure. any, anybody okay, might feel about here. abortion. That's not cool, man. What, what did That's you? bad oh, PR. Just ignore so, hey Elizabeth, sorry to keep taking up your time. So, yeah, we 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 were came in here trying to be as peaceful as we can, right? And we were over there, and uh, Chad was giving us directives. So, um, we actually I didn't we don't want to break the law. I told him that. So we we wanted to get clarification on the laws because I'd never heard of that before. So they happen to be voting. So we understand that we can't record them while they're actually in the process of voting. So I was trying to explain to him that we're not going to go over there. Sure. But he was just rude to us and walked away. And he tried to come over here and tell us that we have to have press credentials. And I was trying to explain to him that the, the government doesn't give press credentials, right? Because uh, you can't give someone permission to do what they have a right to do. So I, the, the people, you, like the, the affiliates, like Channel 7, they give the press credentials, right? So I could just write one up in a piece of like paper and a crayon and it'd be the same legitimacy. So. But we do appreciate your professionalism, ma'am. And uh, I think um, my friend here, who, uh, who um, Beth called the police on last time, uh, he was here earlier and, and he uh, told her that we're coming back. So um that's why she left i'm pretty sure but oh. we just want to let you know that we're going to continue to come back here until you guys uh, get another pass and as soon as you get another pass we'll be out of here because i hate coming here i'm really sick of this place so if you want to forward to beth that we're going to come back again unannounced because we need to have a conversation with her and if she wants to do her job correctly and, and not give us unlawful directives and that'll be the end of it and we'll be out of here so oh, okay. but we do appreciate you and my viewers do appreciate you i have 680 people in my chat right now that that have been complimenting you and saying you're doing a great job so that's what we want we want people that would be respectful. Is it all right if I ask a question? Sure. Or I guess a clarification. The election officials are not library staff. Yep. So yeah. when that was happening, I don't, I couldn't have told you anything more right. than what he was telling me. I, yep. I don't know, so. We got you. I'm glad that that worked out well, yep. so. Thank you, Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. Okay, bye. Um, are you a, a supervisor here? Or? Yes. You what are? I, okay. What can I help you with? Sharon, mm -hmm. um, I walked up to her very nice, like I'm doing with you, mm -hmm. and I asked her a question, and she just completely ignored me. Okay. Um, and I said, hello, can, I, can you help me, ma'am? I need help. And she just mm -hmm. pretended like I wasn't there. 
So that's unacceptable. You guys are members of the public. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sorry, we're members of the public. You guys are public employees, right? Yes, so we you are. pay your salary. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, so that's unacceptable. She can't do that, right? I don't pay her to do that. But um, I want to end on a good note. Elizabeth has been fantastic, um, and she has been very helpful, very respectful. So we, we do appreciate that. We don't want to. We don't try to come in here and antagonize and make people look bad. We want to highlight good employees like Elizabeth, and then we want to also change the behavior of like Sharon over there. And then uh, one more thing, ma'am. Also, Randy, last time I was here, told me to get the f out of here. Yeah, that's uh, unfortunate. I'm sorry that yeah. happened. Yeah, if you want to check out the video on YouTube, you can see it. Uh, that's he told okay. me. To but get... thank you. Yeah. I think you should want to watch the video. You should want to know. Yeah, I think so about too. About holding these other employees around you. It's well, just like the police. Thank you. Thank you for that update. Well, yeah. you asked, and I'm answering you. Yes, thank um, you. You know, the police, they don't hold that standard, and then we get them uh, systemic uh, corruption from the top down, and it's because people don't want to look at the bad deeds that that they've done. Is you know, there anything else I can help you with today? Yeah, ma'am, you started out good and now related? you started out good and now you're being rude. You, you actually just cut him off. He was in the middle yeah, of talking, well, ma'am. You asked yes. him and he was trying to explain and then you got kind of irritated. Yeah, you no, started the, out great. The question was, do you have any other library but questions he, but that I can answer? But you asked him, he was in the middle of explaining yeah. something to you and you just cut him off. your library staff fall to the ways like the police have and to be systemically corrupt? To the public i don't really feel like i need to discuss that right now but if you have a library question i can certainly help you maybe i can show you our so new display what's going i have a library question now yes absolutely what's, what's going to be done about randy telling me to get the f out of here Anything? well that really isn't that's that's not really your concern as the supervisor is there going to be any type of disciplinary action for cursing at us i'm not at liberty to share that but if you have another library question like any materials I can help you find at this time, I'd be happy to help you. Yeah, do you have a copy of the Constitution here? Well, let's see. Let's yep. check at the let's service point. Constitution of the United States of America. I just wanted just to leave this. Sure I just want to leave that here because I was hoping that you could uh, um, ask Randy, maybe on his lunch break, to read that. Uh, therefore, he doesn't try to curse us out. We just want to engage in a lawful constitutional protected activity. Oh, I see. So, well, thanks, ma'am. Thank ma you for finding it. Yep. Yeah, hopefully he'll read it. <laughs> All right. Guys, ever much audits, aka the Mile High Auditor. We're here at Penrose Public Library. Isn't that a beautiful display? Yeah, it I is. Like that. Tell you what, have you guys ever been in this branch before? No, first time. Oh, cool. Yeah. Can I show you around at all? Sure. Well, well, can we get your name? My name's Eric. Eric. Yeah. Hey, what's up, man? Eric. How you guys doing? Who are Good. you? Oh, we're just uh, independent citizen journalists. We don't want to. That's him. Yeah. You mean she's, that's him? She's her. Okay. And we're us. Yeah. Do you have, how about this? Do you have a YouTube channel that you can plug? You know what? Well, we're, we might give it to you. We might not. We usually, we don't like to give that out. It seems yeah. like you guys are trying to enforce your policy, which no, is no, a violation no. of the law. Quick, I have a quick question. Do, yeah. do, a quick question. Um, does that pertain to the Privacy Act? Do you know what the Privacy the Act is? The Privacy Act. What is the Privacy Act? Go ahead. Do you know what me. it is? No, educate me. Oh, okay. So the Privacy Act, um, you'll have to do a little bit of reading on it yourself because there's been some, I believe some amendments to it over time, I'm not entirely sure, but it essentially protects places like schools and libraries in particular. Those are the two things from having people's identity. Is it a CRS? So you wouldn't film like kids in a school, right? Oh, so. Is it a CRS? I don't know. Okay, probably, yeah. The uh, CRS for the library, it talks mm -hmm. about that um, the library yeah. shall not disclose any record, right? Yeah. So that's on you guys. So it's not on us. Absolutely. Oh, right? okay. I see what you're saying. See, but, but and that's are, why I'm offering we are show going to the record library. anything we can see in here, patron or not, just letting you know. Okay. Oh. Okay. And just so you guys know, and if you guys need a copy of it, if the patrons do get upset or it becomes <laughs> yeah. a disturbing the situation type deal, it all comes down to uh, staff discretion. Mm -hmm. So that's where we can step in okay. and, well, and say- Well, my lawful act, First Amendment protected that. activity can't be a, dis uh, a disturbance. Yeah. If they want it, you can't always choose how what your circumstances are. You always have a choice on how you respond to it. So if their response to my First Amendment protected activity is I'm to get saying, irate you, you or guys, bother them, you guys that's not my fault. Coming, filming, but if you're like being but disruptive- But you're not, you're not trying to be disruptive or yeah. cause trouble for people, essentially. You're and not that, gonna that's just and, what like, I'm saying. It comes down to being and disruptive like, and this right? and that, and that's where we can step in and ask one to leave, and yeah. that's just policy. 
Okay. So beyond that, we're not going to we're not going to do that. Anyways. No, I'm just yeah. yeah. And that's what I. Yeah. You guys seem like really decent you people. Guys can so I really appreciate that, and that's why I'm offering to show you around the library. So okay. is there you know, any particular I, I, spot in the library you'd like to that, see? I think that we're just going to kind of do our own little tour. Oh, going to just kind of yeah mosey around. All right. Sure. Can I get your name? I already gave it. Right. Can you give it to me one more time? I, well, I already did. It's Eric. Eric, what's your last name? No, I can't give you my last are you name. A, are you a public employee or your personal security guard? I'm a person. I'm hired by the library. So you're, you work for the public Pikes Peak Library District? Yep. So then it's your policy to identify the members of the public because you're paid with tax dollars, right? I'm Eric. That's my what's name. What's your last name? That's my name. It's Eric. What about this guy? What's your name? I'm Chuck Pyatt. Thank you. I appreciate you doing that because sure. you know i can yeah. i can do a public records request and get your last name i get your totally salary could. yeah so i mean it would be easier if you just kind of give it to me because no no i don't have to do i you know i, I don't know if it's to. your policy or not because i'm not i don't i'm not from here yeah i don't but, have to but uh but, hey but i could you still can get it up. i could still get it yeah. it'd be the, easier I've been on the news i saved a guy's life in here who, who had uh confidential no, i'm good yeah i'm me okay he's him what's up She's her, he's him, and we're us. Okay. All right. So, all right, good. What did, you, what did you guys do before all this? Did you do anything cool? Or you probably don't want to answer that, do you? Nah. I don't answer questions. Yeah? Yeah, I don't okay. answer questions. Well, likewise, uh, have fun. I just fun. want to make sure okay. you guys aren't going to call the police on me and have me escorted off the public Yeah, it sounds, like you've had some, it sounds like you've had some trouble before with this yeah, kind I of did. thing. Yeah, well, Is this public property or private? This is public, man. You said you're a public employee. You work for Pikes Peak Library District, right? No, I work for Pikes Peak Library District. It doesn't necessarily mean we're public employees. I don't. Yes, so. <laughs> <laughs> because the, a public Pikes Peak Library District is public, uh, publicly uh, uh, funded facility, right? Uh, you, it's kind of a mix, actually. You can film me, and you can film everyone here. You can also film the premises. Unfortunately, you can't film the patrons. They do That's have, not true. They do have a right to privacy. No, it's protected. They do not by have law. a right to privacy, sir. Yes, they do. No, they do the not. Library. What's your name? My name is Joey. What's your last name, Joey? Foster. Joey Foster. Do you want the exact statute and the color of rights statute? Because I have that. Yeah. That, that can statute I, can you that bring I bring it. I'd love to look at it. Yeah. I'm telling you. Going through situations that I have been familiar with. Yeah. Able to so, your other officer over there, he's calling the police on us. So. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, hey, anyways, oh. we're just we're just talking about okay. what the peer So, you might want to go do. live, bro. It's cops pretty cool. So, yeah, and he essentially connects them to all kinds of resources. Yep, that cops are on their out. way. So, you know, like that's phenomenal that we get to do that in here, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Hey. Can I shake your hand? Uh, or fist bump? Yeah, I do the COVID. same thing all after the time, COVID, is fist bumps, you know? Hey, really appreciate you guys. Do you want to do me a fist bump? Give me a thumbs down. <laughs> I don't, no, nah, I don't really want, I, to be honest with you, I don't really like you too much, man. So I'm well, not going to you know, give you a fist bump. You're entitled to your opinion. Entitled right. to my opinion. See y'all. All right, man. Do better, bud. Likewise. The cops are on their way. They are saying that uh, CRS 24-90-119. That's for them, guys. That's not for me. That's for the, the library shall not disclose any record. Are the cops coming? Cops are on their way. I'm not sure if they are or not. Who called the cops on us? His uh, colleague. One of the, yeah, officers. Oh, that was rude. <laughs> Do you guys normally call armed cops on civilians like that? Well, all police are armed. But, yeah, if someone's breaking policy and they refuse to <laughs> stop. Yeah. If somebody's breaking up, you know, a policy is not a law, though, right? Yeah, but okay. it's... Okay. Do you know the law enforcement the officers? They're, it's, it's in their name, LEO, law enforcement officer. They don't enforce policies. Mm -hmm. So, like, I understand, like, like, let's say McDonald's, to say they make a policy, yeah. no recording, they're private business, right? So they can do that, and they can have you trespass because they're a private business. This is not private, though. This is public. Like, we pay for this, right? So we're all owners of this facility. So you can't trespass us unless we commit a crime. So you can say policy, no red shirts, everyone has to give me five bucks before they come in. It doesn't matter. We don't have to abide by that because it's not a law. Mm. You see what I'm saying? He is okay. <laughs> yeah. He's like, whatever. <laughs> okay. You just like to follow orders without question? Yep. Oh, this is guy right here. What was your name again? Joey. Joey, last name? Yeah, I already gave you my last name. You can just rewatch the footage. Yeah, but just tell me. No, you can just rewatch okay, the Joey, footage. Okay, Joey, so this is the anti-freedom American here, guys. They called the police on us because we're exercising our First Amendment rights. Joey. 
Joey, guys, from uh, Pikes Peak Library District Security. Oh, you guys are being right here. Really nice. Tyrant, guys. Guy, yeah, Disgrace right here, man. This guy. We haven't done anything to deserve that. <laughs> Calling the police and initiating oh, force on fun. free Americans isn't something to do to be upset about. Catch you look guys at this later. guy. Look at this clown right here. See, man, you try to come out like you were cool, but you're not cool. I can see man, right through you from really the beginning. Hurt. That's really I can see right through you from that. the beginning, man. Dude, that's really hurtful to say that to me. You want a card? What? You want a card? Yeah. You want? Yeah. Take I'll take a card there. You go. Unless you're going to like hand it out and be like, psych. No, oh, no, you get a card. What's man. a no. Chadeo? Chadeo. Chadio. It's another librarian that I freaked out and threw his water bottle because I came in there and recording. Look at all these kids around here and he's just saying effing and acting like this. Because you're recording around children and that's totally against everything on my belief. You know what? Oh. Look Get the f out. out of here with their Whoa. Go! Whoa. Chad. Chad, calm down. Wow. Well, none of us are throwing water balls. No, you guys, you guys aren't that bad at least, but, but you guys are calling why. the cops on us. And I, I didn't call the cops on you, ma'am. Who did you call the cops on? Oh, it was him. For for the the privacy that our patrons are are owed. We try, yeah, we we try to keep. Look at how uneducated this guy is. It's not good to call the police on law-abiding citizens. Right? No, well, I mean, if someone feels like they should call the police, then I don't think you're you should tell them not to. You know. Yeah, but that's what we want to change. We don't want you guys to think that you should call the police on people for exercising their First Amendment right. Like I said, you have every right to film me and every other staff member at the library. Yep, and every patron in here, too. So, this guy's wondering what I was doing. I actually had business Were you here. just praying, brother? Did you just say that? Yeah. What, so I can't say damn now? No, you're just... Being harsh on that man over there, you know? Yeah, I was. I prayed with that gentleman right there, didn't I? Yeah, that was awesome, but... That was great. Yeah. Maybe he needs to find God. And you. Mm. Mm -mm. What? I mean, Jesus wants us to act a certain way. Exactly. And that wasn't it. <laughs> yeah. This isn't it either. The people that are writing the policies, they don't know what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. And that's an issue because then we have order followers like you who just follow orders without question. And then you violate people's rights and uh, call the police on people, right? Interesting. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Can you guys stay over here? Because I can't go over there because I'm buffering. That's why I called you guys over here. Let's stay in the same area. I don't want us to get uh, be looking Wait, for each other. Because she's my friend. Don't worry about it, bud. She's not following my orders, okay? Yeah. Shut up, bud. This guy's a clown. Okay. Yeah, yeah, do a little pose, man. Make yourself make yourself look as foolish as you want. Is this good? Is this too foolish? Thank you. Yeah. Please make that the thumbnail. Please. Oh, trust me. You're definitely going to be in the thumbnail. I promise you that. Yes, please do that. Yeah. You're gonna be the main attraction, bro. I've always wanted to be famous. Oh, you're gonna be infamous, not famous, though. Calling on our Springs Police Department saying that Gold Hill Division will not show up to respond to the call since they have a right to record in their public library. Oh, I have no idea. Yeah. I don't think they've got. Hey, Joey, I don't think they're gonna come, bro, because we have a lawful right to do this. Okay. It's been over an hour, man. Okay. That's pretty low too. priority. Well, it's, it's extremely low priority because yeah. it's, it's a no priority. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Because we're not breaking the law, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is your eye twitching? Is your eye twitching? <laughs> is it? Is yours? Am I a robot? We wanted to get out of here, man, but we just need to know, are the cops coming? Because we don't want we don't want to flee the scene. We can't divulge any of that information. Yeah. We have every right to leave if, you, you if you'd do. like. Okay. See, look, their pride and ego. These two big guys, they can't admit that the cops aren't coming. So they're not going to divulge that information like it's some type of top security. <laughs> look at these guys, man. Yeah. Chris, do you like history? Wow. Does Chris like history? Are you zooming in? Oh. I can never tell. Like, <laughs> yeah, because it's always off. Like yeah, those yeah, cameras are kind of hard. They're nice cameras, though. Does Does Chris like history? He's like my my one day a fan. <laughs> is he, is he a fan of it? 
Are you a fan, Chris, of history? No answer? Okay. I thought it was interesting when you and I were talking, we were having a really honest conversation about some stuff, but as soon as Chris came over, you like switched gears, didn't want to talk to anybody. That was really weird. Like, all I wanted to do was have a good conversation with you and like get to know you a little. Yeah, we definitely like hanging out with our patrons and getting to know them personally. Yeah. It's one of the parts I love about this job. You clammed up like as soon as Chris came over. You, Chris, are you calling the shots? No, I don't call the shots. Oh, uh, he definitely is. He, he, he gave her some orders and she took them. Well, I also thought it was interesting as soon as Chris got on his live stream, he was literally telling his audience like what to think and believe. Oh, no, I don't tell. They, they all believe the same stuff that I believe. You were like, this That's guy good. sucks. It's good to like yelling into the camera. Who have similar opinions to yeah. So you guys, uh, you guys are just making yourself look even worse. No. <laughs> Eric? <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> I'm, you I'm, are. You're, you're making. You're I've making. You're digging your hole deeper, man. You okay. guys called the police on us, you guys, and they're not even here. Okay. It's been an hour and a half. Okay. Uh -huh. You guys are wrong. You're okay. wrong, Joey. Okay. Hey, okay. okay. so thank you for admitting that, man. Oh, I didn't admit that I was wrong. Yeah, he didn't. So you think that if we were committing a crime, don't you think the cops would have showed up? So 24-90-119 states, a publicly supported library shall not disclose any record or other information that identifies a person as having requested or obtained specific materials or service or as otherwise having used the library. Whew, that's long-winded. So what, basically what this says is that you're not allowed to say anybody's name. So you're over there trying to dox me, right? No. You're saying my name, Chris, hey, Chris. No, you right? didn't say that so was So you're actually name. in violation of this law. So you're the one breaking the law. No, right? you were the one who said you didn't have a name, so... Yeah, but yeah, you know, know my name, but you know my name and you just disseminated no, it to hundreds of people. I don't yes, know you did. Your name. You just broke the law, sir. You no, just broke this name. law that you guys are trying to enforce on us. I don't know it. You don't know the law? Yeah, it's clear that no, you don't, I don't know, know it. His and name. I'm telling you. Dude, we were having a good conversation, man. Yeah, we my, name's Chris, my name's my name's Christopher. My name's Christopher. Remember you came over here? Hey Chris, what's up, Chris? Do you like this, Chris? Remember? Trying to be patronizing like that? No. Violating the oh, law? Yeah. You're violating your own law and your own policy, bud. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. You're trying to dox me. No, I'm not trying to. You can. Edit you absolutely out did. You want. And you kept saying his name over and over. And kept saying my name over and over again. Yeah. You're you're in violation of CRS 24-90-119, man. No. Trying to trying to say that I have to abide by that. Yeah, you're the one disclosing my inf personal information. You guys are going around like filming people in the library, yeah, and that's yeah. already against the against the law. So, and you've already been suspended, haven't you? <laughs> it's against oh, you the law. Weren't? It's against okay. the law, guys. Man, You're not using the you library. just violated the. I, I actually. You're violating. I got the. the law. I got the financial report. I'm here for business. No, you're violating the law because no one has told you're filming people in the library without their consent. I just had a guy complain about you that you put a camera in his face and he told you not to and you kept doing it. No, well, that's not true. I have the whole so thing on the live stream. Policy. I have this entire thing on the live stream. Yeah, so that's he was not, sitting I never there. He's livid. And in fact, he's writing a report Look, to guy's us. This lying. This no, guy's a liar. He's writing a report to us saying that he was very. Okay, well, I mean, this, I have an objective viewpoint, so I mean. Yeah, you know, in in that case. We have security case, cameras here, so you'll be able to see I never shoved a camera in anyone's face and continued to do it after they told me not to. Well, I mean, you can so, edit it later. That was when, before you went. No, live you have some security cameras here, right? I don't remember who the one was gave me your guys' policy that quotes that law. Mm-hmm. And then you're over here violating that same law. No. Right? Do you see the contradiction there, bud? No. Yeah. Yeah. There's no way. For you to say my name like that when I didn't give I you didn't, my name? I didn't even know it was yours. <laughs> you kept calling me Chris, but you didn't know that was my name? Well, I mean, you, you earlier self-identified as him. And so I was like, oh, okay. So, and refused to tell me the name when I was forthwith and told you, you how, Why did you think my name was Chris? I was just grasping in the air. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. What do you mean the way I was acting? You don't remember? No, I was just talking to you. You remember the, the patronizing, just, condescending little kid behavior? You guys making jokes and giving each other fist bumps. And no, that was the other that, guard remember? telling me that I got a name too. You yeah. called me a name before we ever fist bumped. What was the name that I called you? Snowflake. Yeah, you called me Snowflake. Snowflake. Yeah, I remember. And that wasn't nice. Yeah, it wasn't nice, man. Well, I'm getting called. I got to okay. get rolling. Get back to work, bud. Yeah, thank Let you. Let me know about the remember. thing. Hey, yeah, I will let you know. Okay. Yeah, I'll let you know. Thank you. I appreciate your honesty with me, man. Called him a name, guys. He's a part. Bye, Snowflake. They called Monument since we mentioned it.
Oh, okay. They called Monument guys and got my name for Monument. How would they That's know from Monument? Monument knows my name. I remember they called me by my first and last name over the last time. Okay, wait, we have crazy o. Hey, what are you doing? Whoa! What the f is going on here? I don't like you in my face. Go away. Not Bitch, you I've came up to her face. You. Yes, you do. Charity, leave me alone. Leave us alone. It's none your business. Holy smokes. I think we Charity got a Reddy. right here. Leave me alone. Would you just take me? Trash. No, I think she doesn't know who the hell I trash. am. Shut up! She doesn't know who the hell I am. Charity I Redding, she's... shut up! You're not a f***ing lady. Whoa, I think she's drunk. Or on drugs. I think you're on crack. And you're a f***ing whore. No, you're, whore. you're on crack. Call me again. Yeah. Look at you. Bitch. Look at Bye. you. Bye! Uh, folks, you can't be filming in the library right now. You can't film in the library? Yeah, and you can't film me. You can't film you? No. How come? People are... Hey, what are you doing? Don't touch me, lady. What am I doing? Hey, oh, this lady's assaulting me. Get outside. Whoa. Go outside. What are you doing? Get away. I just said you can't Get film away. me, and you're filming me. She asked you not to film That's her. right, and she told no, you you can't put film her in the hands library. on him. She you just assaulted after. me, man. You just and assaulted me. Unacceptable. Leave. Get the leave. fuck out of my face. Who's in whose face? You oh, yeah, said you just your me, hands you just go away. Me. You hey. can't put your hands on people, You cannot film me. You cannot Maybe film me. Maybe you should have thought about Who that before you? you go and put your hands Excuse on people. Me. I did. I told him no. And then you went and put your hands on Could people. Could you call the police? How yeah, dare call you? Call the police so I can press charges on you, ma'am, yeah, for a battery. Over here with me. That's yes. ridiculous you that you think you can just grab people, ma'am. I didn't just you, grab you. Yeah, you yeah. pushed me in the chest. What happened before that? Good luck. Before that doesn't that. give you permission to put your hands on It doesn't people. give you permission to film me. Don't be filming me. Okay, don't Well, she assaulted me, so I'm gonna record her. I told you, don't film me. That doesn't you give you the right to, film to put your hands on me. Let's uh, call 911, please. Please yeah. call 911. Please call 911. Please. Come on. So this is the lady right here that called the police on us? I did not call anybody. Well, I you're the not. one that told me immediately that I can't record in here, and then that lady assaulted me. Right, because of what you did, that escalated. Yeah, you were the one that set the tone for the whole interaction by saying that we can't record in here, ma'am. And then she goes and grabs him. You saw her assault him and grab him first. Don't deny that, ma'am. That was unacceptable. That was shameful. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Oh, look, she's You're like, the one that set that tone. Yeah, man, you caused the whole fire here. Hi. Hi there. It's fine to film the library building and materials and staff. We just ask that you don't film the people using the library. Well, I mean, I can ask you to give me five bucks, right? I mean, I can ask you to take your shoes off. There's lots of things that you can ask me to do, but I have a right to record anything I can see in here, ma'am. And, and your, your, whoever was up there at the front immediately started yelling at us saying that we're not allowed to record right now in the library, which sparked a reaction from a patron. She assaulted me and grabbed my chest. And then some other guy came up and started a, like a mob mentality. That's the thing is that you guys as the employees set the tone for the entire interaction. And when you guys get irate like that and out of control, then the other patrons see that behavior and they think that if the employees are acting that way, now I can act that way. And then this other guy was like, call 911, call 911. Yes. I mean, this is ridiculous, ma'am. This is this is a, a First Amendment protected activity, ma'am. We have a lawful that right. You, I understand that you are allowed to film in here. I I do not, um, and you are allowed to film staff. You know, I'm staff. Of course, you're allowed to film me. Um, I just we do protect our patrons' privacy, and if a patron does not want to be filmed, we ask that you respect that. Okay, well, I mean, like I said, I can ask, I require everyone to have my own personal policy that everyone that I talk to has to give me five bucks before we start the conversation. But 100% of the time, everyone's disobeyed my policy, right? Because they don't actually have to. So here's the thing, ma'am, this is a public, we're not trying to like antagonize people, but this is a public space, ma'am. So there's no privacy in public. So this is like if I was recording on a sidewalk, somebody couldn't say, don't record me on a sidewalk. 
Yeah. So yes, it's your obligation to protect their privacy. So there is a CRS 24-90-119, which states that a publicly supported library shall not disclose any information of any patron having used the library. It's just like a HIPAA law. That's not on me. That's on you guys. But you can't turn my First Amendment protected activity into any type of crime. There's case law that backs up what we're doing, man. We know what we're doing. We did our research before we came here. And again, we came in here to peacefully do a tour of your library and check it out before literally we didn't even we get past the front possible. doors before we were assaulted and yelled at by one of your employees. Which so, triggered a chain reaction. To I understand what you're saying. And yeah. that's unfortunate. So, so are the police coming in? I'm sorry? Are the police coming? Uh, I am not aware if they are or not. Well, Could you find out? Because yeah, because we can't leave until because we don't want to flee the scene. Right. If the police are here, then we don't want them out there looking for us. So would you be able to find that out sure. for us? Sure. Thank you, Renee. I'll check into that. Um, tell me your name, please. My name is Renee. And what is your position here, please? I'm the manager. You're the manager. Thank you. I'm sure our staff mentioned that you shouldn't be filming other patrons in the library. We shouldn't be filming patrons? Right. Why is that? Well, with patron confidentiality, their use of the library is protected. Okay. What is protected? Their use of the library. Oh, uh, yeah, that's fine. I mean, their use of the library is protected. So basically with the CRS um, for public library states that you guys shall not disclose any information in regards to patrons using the library. So that's all it is. It just basically says that you can't tell me if somebody checked out a book, or like if I want to know who's the person that checked out a book, you can't just disclose that to me, right? That's what the privacy law is for libraries, ma'am. Do you guys need any information about the library? No, we don't need any. What we need really is for you guys to stop giving us unlawful directives and tell us that we can't record patrons, ma'am. We didn't come in here to record <coughs> patrons. We come in here to do a tour of your lobby and your, your, your <coughs> library here. I've never been to this one. And I got assaulted right away in, in your the lady over there at the front desk was yelling at us right before when we came in saying we can't record in here, which is not true, man. Let me know if you want any information about the library. My name is Cheryl. And what is your position here? I'm the patron experience supervisor here at Colony. Okay. <coughs> patron experience supervisor. Okay. So as the patron experience supervisor, ma'am, you should know that, that, uh, that the patrons don't have a right to not be recorded in here. Just education for you for the next time, because we're gonna definitely have to come back now and do a follow-up visit from the way I was assaulted immediately. Uh, so when we come back, we don't want people to be telling us not to record patrons and that they have privacy, because they don't. This is a public space, man. You don't have privacy in public. Yeah, that's what I should be asking, Steve. Where Chadio is, man. I mean, is Chadio the supervisor over here training these guys or what? So we're still getting confirmation on whether they called the police or not because they, they were hollering call 911 and everything else just because we came in here with cameras. It was crazy. Man. So, ma'am, uh, Cheryl, do you know if the police are coming? Because Renee said she was going to find out for us, but it's been a while. The, the police have been called. They have been called? Okay, so the police have been called. We got confirmation, guys. So they called the police on free Americans for walking inside of a library with a camera. She was like mama bear in there. You yeah, you guys... I detached her off of you. <laughs> I mean, wait till you guys see the static version when we edit this. It's crazy, man. Yeah, I can't wait to see what that looks like. So. Yeah, that was the spicy tea coming out, y'all. Yeah, spicy tea came out, guys. <laughs> she took her name tag off, guys. First she had her, her uh, sweater covering her name tag. Now she took it, removed it completely. You know, I'm definitely going to get your name, ma'am, for 100%. I promise you. You're a public employee, I'm gonna do a public records request and I guarantee you I will get your first and last name. I'm gonna get your salary and everything. Look what you cause. Police actually have real crimes to solve, ma'am. You know that, right? There's unsolved murderers and assaults out there. And you guys wanna call the police on free Americans for coming into a public library with cameras and then say nothing when I get assaulted by that other patron? Next time somebody comes in here with a camera and they get assaulted, you should call the police on the person doing the assaulting. Not the person doing the lawful activity, man. Hi. 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 Hi.
Deputy Dixon with Jefferson County Sheriff's Office. So obviously, something happened today. Are you guys wanting to talk about the incident when you guys came into the library? So she w reached up, grabbed, put her hand on my chest, grabbed my chest, and then grabbed my arm. I had to hit her arm off of me okay. and pull my camera back so that she, mm -hmm. that she wouldn't bump into my camera. Okay. That was the, the that was the, pretty much it. So I know there's no battery in Colorado. I'm not sure what crime that is, but okay. um, she definitely put hands on me. It was unwanted touch. That's simple okay. assault and harassment. So, did you say she did she grab you? Did she just she push? grabbed my my left pec? Okay. She grabbed it and then she grabbed my arm. Okay. So I had to go like this to remove her arm okay. from me. All right. And that was and then I raised my voice at her in a very assertive way to make sure that she wasn't going to try to continue. Uh -huh. uh, with the unwanted touching, okay. and that was pretty much the end of it. Uh, she also stepped in. Uh, they were pretty much net close. You know, there was no physical altercation between them, but okay. she was basically having my back. She was a woman, so I wouldn't have to get physical with the woman because just because there's a woman, I can't just let them, you know, assault me. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter. You know, I'm obviously not going to punch her in the face, but yeah. I am going to use some force to get out of the situation at least, mm -hmm. right? We've so. talked to the staff that witnessed everything and, and kind of. Your version is much more similar to yours. Much I can worse. That's far as similar. Similar so to which, what you folks have told us is what the witnesses told us. Okay. That okay. they did see the assault. Yeah, so we were being told that, so, so yes, essentially, you're, yeah, they came in to your face and everything else. So this is not my first interaction in this setting, and I respect it. And as long as everything's fine, like, there's no issue, right? Mm -hmm. like, and did you from, tell them they're exercising protected activity? We did. Mm -hmm. We did. We, and they and they actually they do know that. Okay. They do know that. That's why we were having a big long conversation, talking to the witnesses and every. For the witness, there's only one. That's why we were in there to talk to them because we're not just going to come in here and, and someone say, "Oh, they need to leave." Well, yeah, hold on. Thank no, you. not Thank not you. really. That's mm -hmm. no. I, been doing it for a while, so I understand. Yay, Jeff, yeah. come yeah. Oh, yeah. finally. Job. But it's yes. not it's not something like. Uh, just like we told the librarian staff, because a lot of people don't understand what you guys do, and they don't understand some of the constitutional rights. So um, we, we try to help explain that to people as well. So we're not just here to say, when people are like, oh, they can't do that. I'm like, well, no, they can. Mm -hmm. And some people, unfortunately, some people just don't understand that. Yes. And it takes a little bit more education, education exactly, to kind of let them know, like, no, actually, they, they really can. I just want to commend you, and, and my audience is commending you, too. That you cool. guys are doing... This is exactly what we want. Yeah. 725 people are watching right yeah. now. Oh, nice that's, job. That's yeah. not good. Jeffco. That's, not, that's awesome. a lot of people. That is um, no, man, we're here to do the right thing. I, I, I see this stuff all the time. We're not here to cause problems either for you. All right. Thank you, guys. Take you care. guys are amazing. Can I Thank shake you. your hand? Yeah, absolutely. 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 Awesome. absolutely. You guys yeah. did such a great job. Thank we you. appreciate yeah, you. Yeah, absolutely. Just take care. Thank you too. You. Oh, here's Jennifer. She's the uh, district. Oh, hi Jennifer. Nice job today with everything that went down. So what, what can I help you with? So we would like the woman's name that had initial contact with him that told him he could not record in here. Okay, um, I'm, I, I really can't give out her name, but what can I help you with? You can give me the name or I can just do a series of records requests. And, and you'd like to make a complaint with the library about this individual? Yes, about okay. that particular individual, but I need her name to and be able to do so that. So that would, you would make that complaint to me? But I'm not can... going to make the complaint until I have her name, because I okay. need that specific name, because there's not going to be any guessing. So it's, it's, it's public record. So if you want me to do a, a records request, I'm going to request everyone's names that are employed here. And salaries. Hold on one second. I'm going to double check in the back and okay. I'll be right back. Thank, Thank you. you. And it's good to see you again. I remember you from uh, yeah, I was at Belmar. 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 Yes, nice to see you. I was going to say I remember yeah, you. Yeah. You too. I'll be right back. Okay. And it's right? Yes, but I did. you shouldn't have said that on the live stream, but she did it on purpose. And actually, you know what? I never gave them my name, so that's the thing. They just, they all know my name, but I never I give the public employees my name, guys. I did check with our library policy, and we aren't at liberty to hand out that name. So you're admitting that we have a lawful right to obtain the information, yep. but you're not going to give it to us. You're going to make us work harder to get it. Yep. That's okay. You really shouldn't take so. this route, I'm going to tell you. Yeah. But my viewers are not going to appreciate that, Jennifer. And also I was wondering yeah. how you obtain my name. 
because I never gave it to anyone. I think you told me last time. Well, we were, <laughs> I've yeah. never said my name. I'm yeah. To ever, I've never said my own name. I think I've we never introduced each myself. other. Like we when we when we were in Belmar, yeah. I asked your name and you told me, and then you nope. found out my name and yeah. No, I've never said my name. Really? Yeah. So I mean, oh. so I was wondering how you guys got it. I don't know. I seem to recall that you told it to me, but. So Jennifer, you can't give us the employee's name, but you can give everyone my name? Okay. Well, you, you gave me your name. I didn't so give I you my name. I was just saying hello again. <laughs> I didn't give you my name, ma'am. Are you familiar with uh, Colorado Revised Statute 24-90-119? Uh, not off the top of my head, no, okay. but I could look it up. This would be a good one for you to know. It uh, states that a publicly supported library shall not disclose any record or other information that identifies a person as having requested or obtained specific materials or service or has otherwise having used the library. Okay. So since I didn't give you my name and you're lying, you actually just committed this crime. You're in violation of CRS 24-90-119. You just committed a crime, ma'am. When, when we met in Belmar. I never me. gave you my name. I've never given anyone my yeah, name when I do this, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's that's. I had the entire interaction on the recording. I never gave you my name. I've never given anyone my name. So you are in violation of the law, ma'am. That's a disgrace. And that's my email right there. Do you see that? Can you read that? Is that a Q? Is that a U? Mm -hmm. A D? I don't want to say it. Right, now that I told her she's breaking the law, now she doesn't want to say it. Would you like a business card? You can use mine. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Uh -oh. There you go. There's my card. All right, do better. Thank you. Have a great day. You Thank too. you. Did you need a receipt for it? Um, no. Okay. I'll just toss it in our return. Uh, just go on Hey, kid. Don't ever let them get inside your head. They'll tell you what to do in life instead. Of everything you know that you could get. Penrose Library follow-up. Scene one, take one. Hey. What's up, kid? How you doing, man? Good. Good. So, you remember this guy from last time? Yeah, I remember. It's been a while. Yeah. I'm sure you're aware of our policy, the whole, uh, you know, no filming patrons without their approval oh, and all yeah. that. Oh, yeah. The one that's, that's unlawful. We're going to hit up every single library in the Pikes Peak Library District because of the way that you guys act, so... That's what I came here to do. I'm gonna record anything I can see in here, so. Okay. Hopefully you guys don't call the cops on me again. Uh-huh. Yeah. Took out, remember they had Constitution Week and stuff like that up here last time? They took all that stuff out. And I like that, see, so Constitution USA right there. The Penrose Library, they don't actually go by the Constitution, do they? So good for them for taking that stuff out of the display case. They're uh, anti-freedom, so at least they're sticking with what they believe in. They removed all the Constitution and uh, Civil liberty stuff out of their display case. Uh, we got a cam back over there, guys. So this lady's been following me around, recording me. Hey. Hey. Nice to see you. Hey, you too. I think I remember you from last time. Yeah, right on. Yeah. Um, if you need anything, let us know. You're welcome to film. If you could not get patrons involved in the filming, that'd be great. Well, I mean, as you know, that's kind of the reason why we're here. So um, I was telling Dustin over there, he tried to tell me about your guys' policy again. So yeah, yeah. But we're gonna basically keep coming back until you guys remove that stuff out of the policy. I'm gonna basically just record anything I can see, patron or not. So just test your guys' conduct. I mean, as you guys already know, this is an employee conduct check. So we're seeing if you're gonna, you know, honor the law right and on. not try to enforce a policy, which I'm not bound to and uh, call the police on us, so All uh, right. me, I guess. I'm here solo today, so. Like I said, if you need anything, just let us know. Will do. Right on. What was your name again? My name's Michael. Michael, all right. Cool. Thanks. Yeah. You what? I was just recording him. Well, you can record him back, too. What are your rights? Well, that, that's against the law. What is against the law? To record someone without there to video record a person without their permission. Right here. The camera. There's cameras everywhere in no, here. That's different though. 
but you're in a public library, so you have the right to record him back, right? I mean, I, I could, but I don't want to break the law. Also, I just want to be, I just want to be respected. You know, I don't want to be a person don't want me to violate their rights. They don't need to violate my rights. But they're not violating your rights. And they are. Nah, not when you're recording I've done in public. Legal work. I know all about the law. Really? Yes. What CRS code would that be? In Cleveland, Ohio. Oh, but not Colorado. The federal law is federal law. About recording? State, well, state laws are different by the state, but the federal laws are the same across this whole country, no matter what state you're in. What's the federal statute for that? I'm not going to get off into all that. People just don't need to violate other people's rights if they don't want to violate theirs. You need to treat people the way they want to be treated. Right, so I can see where people are trying to stand up for your rights and try to make sure that we have the freedoms to continue recording. But I won't. The place doesn't give a person a right to videotape, video record you just because you're in a public place. That's ridiculous. Even when you walk outside, though, you're being recorded. Are you okay with that? Well, trying to justify somebody being a devil's advocate is not going to get nowhere with me because I know what the law says. You can't twist it on me. Okay. You just need to respect other people. Right. That's the bottom line. The law says what it says. I'm happy to disengage with you. Have a great day, sir. You too. Ladies and man, love your neighbor as yourself. Treat people the way that you want to be treated. If everybody would do that in this country, we wouldn't have no violence, we wouldn't have no problems, we wouldn't have no fights, we wouldn't have no confrontations. But too many people refuse to do it, so there's going to be problems. Okay? But everybody's not going to put up with that mess. You don't want me to do it to you? Don't do it to me. It's just that simple. You, how would you like it if I went to your yard playing with your kids and you don't set up the camera? Right. 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 You know that's wrong. That's, you know, uh, well, that's, 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 that's apples to oranges because that's uh, private property. You don't even have to know yeah, what, the, what, the, what the code is, but you know that's wrong. That's, everybody know that's wrong. You don't have constitutional rights because you're poor. That's ridiculous. You wouldn't go in a rich neighborhood and do that, I bet you that. You wouldn't go in one of these suburban libraries and do that, I bet you they would. I promise you. I've been to plenty of suburban libraries. <laughs> Why are you taking pictures? Well, actually, I was doing a tour of the, the whole library, and then this guy right here started... He was obviously talking about me recording, so that's why I'm recording this now. I'm recording this interaction. Not want to respect other people. That's one of the biggest problems in this country. People don't want to treat other people the way they want to be treated. Well, you know that you're in public, right, sir? So, like, there's no expectation. I have rights in public. Well, yeah, of course you have rights in public, but you don't have a right to privacy in public, right? Okay. I mean, yeah, it's just like if you're on a sidewalk, right? It's the same thing. You don't have a right to privacy in public, sir. There's, you're talking about federal law. How many times did you kick the bar exam and took the test? Oh yeah, I don't. Ha I'm not an attorney, but you don't have to be an attorney to know your rights, though, right? <laughs> That's yeah, like. I've done, work. I've done paralegal work. Oh, so then you should know then that there's no expectation yeah, of privacy. You can't debate in public. with me on this. You can't debate with me on this because if, if you knew the law, you wouldn't be trying to argue with me on it. You so, wouldn't repent. So I'm breaking the law. What you would, if you knew the law, what you would do was say, you know what, you're right, man, my fault, and you keep it moving. So I'm breaking the law right now, is what you're saying? <laughs> you're going to believe what you believe. You're going to believe what you believe. <laughs> you're asking me politely? Well, you guys engaged with me, that's why I'm recording you. I actually never pointed my camera at you guys. I was kind of just doing a, 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 a overview, but you guys are engaging. If, if you're engaging with me, then I'm going to record you, okay? He was arguing with this lady right here. So we have this other lady here that I don't know, some uh, lady with a cam back. But, so, um, but she was asking him what the federal law is, and he said, I don't want to get into that with you, is what he said. So he's saying that there's a federal law stating I can't record in public, but he doesn't not want to cite the law. That's why we have, that's why we have Black Lives Matter in this country. Because, you know, you have people here that want to violate certain people's rights simply because they're black and poor. So you think that I'm recording you and violating your rights because you're black and poor? Is that what you're saying? Because when we go to these other lawyers, we don't get justice. Anytime we get justice, we have to go to a lawyer in our own race for one, 
Okay, people like Trayvon Martin case would have never got any justice if it wasn't for the black lawyers. Thank God for the black lawyers. And it's a shame that also, you know, it's not even a black thing because they violate the rights of poor white people too. It's poor white people in here too. Their rights are being violated also. What, 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 what's so hard about respecting other people? Well, here's the way a couple you things on that. Number one. Uh, what's wrong, black people what's wrong absolutely can get white attorneys. I don't understand that. I don't, I don't, okay. I don't get it. Well, let me explain. A couple things. Number one, it, it seems as though you kind of have a victim mentality about black people and being oppressed in this country, uh, which is a bad mindset because we really what you're doing is you're manifesting more of that into existence. That's how the, the laws of the universe works. But that's besides the, the point. It's the victim's fault. Okay. The, the main point that I wanted it's to get to. It's the victim's fault. The main point that I wanted to get it's to is the, the fact that fault. you're stating that I'm violating people's rights right it's now. It's the victim's fault. The victimizer is never wrong in your eyesight. That's the type of person you are. It's always the victim's fault. Well, if you I mean, kill somebody. It's not your fault. It's the it's it, it's their fault. It's the victim's fault. No, I I didn't say that if, if somebody gets murdered that it's their fault. That's not what I said. You spoke about oppression in this country, but you didn't speak yeah. against the oppressor. You didn't who's, speak against the oppressor. the oppressor. You're speaking against the person. Who's the who oppressor? Oppressed. Who's the oppressor? Is it the white man? The white man is the oppressor? There you go. Yeah? Say that. So this guy thinks the white man is the oppressor of the, in this country. I think the, really the government's probably the oppressor, not the white man specifically. Right? If there's no law that exists that backs up what I'm saying, how, is, how does he have a lawsuit right now? How is he suing a company for taking his picture and using it without his permission? When you take them to court and you get a lawsuit against them and take everything they own, mm -hmm. then they'll repent. You see, because when you talk to them, they don't respect that when you talk to them. You gotta take them to court and sue them. I mean, if I had a camera and I was like photographing somebody or you in the background, I would respect your wishes. Yeah. Okay, here we got Dustin and that other guy from last time. What's up, guys? So Dustin was the one already well, telling so me. Right now, we got a lawsuit. Right now, 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 this is boring, this is like it. Uh, I don't know. You can ask him. the damn camera. His name's <laughs> What's it about? I don't know. I just walked in. I'll let you know what I'm like. Are you guys recording them? I don't answer questions. On the 12th. Oh, I said I don't answer questions. Can I get your name? Yeah, Charles Pyatt. Charles Pyatt? Yeah. What's yours? You already know my name, you just said it. Yep. Okay. He was just asking if you're recording him, I told him to ask you. So nothing? No. I'm not sure if he is. If he is, let us know. Hold it right there. Charles Pyatt just broke the same law we were just speaking about with Dustin. The same law that the Pikes Peak Library District uses in their policy to try to prevent us from recording patrons in the library. 24-90-119, a publicly supported library shall not disclose any record or other information that identifies a person as having requested or obtained specific materials or service or as otherwise having used the library. Okay, so they can't disclose any information of any patron using the library. And he just said my first and last name. He said Sweet T's first name. And it says right there in the beginning, a publicly supported library shall not disclose any record. It doesn't say anything about the citizens, right? So that's what I'm saying. This policy needs to go away. They're using this CRS as an excuse to violate our rights and say we can't record patrons. It's not on us. The burden is on them to protect the patrons' privacy. And Charles Pyatt just violated my rights and he broke the law by disclosing my first and last name to other patrons. So guess what we did after this, guys? So we just needed to file a criminal complaint. We were the victim of a crime yesterday. CSPD Falcon Division, scene one, take one. Okay. What happened? So we were at Penrose Library. The security guard, his name is Charles Pyatt. He violated CRS 24-90-119, which is privacy of user records. He was telling other patrons in the library my full name, first and last name, and her first name. Why? Because we were in there recording, 
and um, yeah, because we have a lawful right to record. So, right. Uh, they don't understand that at that Penrose library. Um, and so they actually, last time we were there, they actually called the police on us. And the police, you guys didn't even show up because you called them and said, there's nothing we can do. They have the lawful right to record in a public space. Sure. So they don't understand that. They have a policy which actually quotes this CRS. Uh -huh. And they're using this as an excuse to keep us from recording in there. Uh, they also use Katz v. U.S., United States Supreme Court case law, which actually is, the, is, is ironic because that actually states that there's no expectation of privacy in public. It's actually literally in their policy. Sergeant so, Craig Simpson. You're very nice. Thank oh, you so thanks. much. Thanks. Absolutely. All right, and Officer Cowan will take you guys over for the rest of us. Okay. And if you need anything, let me know. Sounds good. Um, absolutely. All right, take care, right. guys. Yeah, you too. Do you guys want to go in here? Or yeah, sure. Here? Because of the way the security guard was handling the situation, like, they don't like that we were exercising our rights. Yeah, the first minute. Right. Sure. And it was like he was trying to get the patrons to turn against us or retaliate or not like us in right. that sense. Gotcha. So then we were getting threats from the patrons about them spray painting our cameras and then jumping us out at the front and stealing his camera. Yeah. So it was a very uncomfortable situation. Mm -hmm. This is going to be the uh, case number associated with that. Okay. Without my written consent, no images of my likeness or my name can be used. So the security guards, the problem is they're, they're giving them the wrong information. See, they're going to get them all riled up. Everyone's going to get riled up now. Yeah, what's up? Because they, they said, hey, if you're recording them, let me know. Let me know. So it's just two of you guys this time? Hey, last time we were here, there was like six of you guys. Charles, you don't want to engage now? I'm engaging with you now. No, I already asked you a question. You said you're not going to talk to me. No, so. I was talking to you now, though. You don't want to talk okay. anymore? I'm good. Okay. Did you have a question? Yeah, so, uh, what's, up? so what's going to happen? So, I mean, like, you as said, you said well, you told them to let me know if they're recording you, so. Yeah, I told the patrons if he's recording you, let us know. Okay, why? What would happen? What do you mean? Well, you said, well, would they, if they came to you and said, hey, this guy's recording. To me, that sounds you. cut and dry. Like, if they are, let me know. Yeah, but I mean, what are you going to do if they tell you that? I don't know. You don't know? Yeah. Okay. Why are you going to record them? I'm going to record anything I can see in here, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did I answer your question? It's just like I was last time, right? You guys called the cops, remember? They didn't even show up? No. Yeah, you don't remember that? Well, you kind of left, I think. I don't know if you were in the back or what. Okay. But I was telling Dustin here that we already visited uh, Sand Creek Library and East Library. Okay. And they're super friendly there. How, how did that go? Uh, well, they didn't give us any unlawful directives about recording patrons. They were nice. They asked us if we needed any help. Let us take a tour of the entire building. Okay. And it kind of set the tone for the entire interaction, right? So, like, when they were doing that, none of the patrons thought that we were doing anything wrong because they were respecting our rights. But when you guys come over here and start saying, hey, if they record you, let us know, stuff like that. No, the you're guy asked everyone me if you were recording, up. and I said, ask them. And I asked you, and you ignored me, so. Yeah. Did that answer your question? Eh, not really. I'm just trying to explain to you. I thought I did. I'm trying to explain to you the way that you guys act, right, when you engage with this entire incident. Okay. It sets the tone for the entire interaction. Like, if okay. you think that we're well, doing something well, that's wrong. That's your opinion. It's all, it's absolutely the truth. When you tell okay. us that we're doing something wrong, they think that we're doing did something wrong. Did I tell you wrong. you're doing something wrong? Well, last time I was here, you did. You said that you called the cops on us, remember? Did I? Well, either you or. Are you the, are you the lead security guard guy here? Supervisor. To the supervisor. So you were here last time I was here in the cops. I call the cops. But your one of your subordinates did then. Uh, and you didn't stop them. I don't think so. I think that was just rumor. <laughs> oh yeah. So all of your subordinates lied to us and said the cops are on their way and, and they weren't. Oh, oh no one ordered me to call the police on you. So why did you call the cops on us? I've already told you. It's because of the expected privacy that our patrons have. I think the uh, patron may have said that, yeah. Oh, the patron said it, okay. Do you have a yeah. call number on that? No, because they never even showed up, remember? They called you guys and said there's nothing we can do. Oh. And they didn't want to show up for people you know, exercising rights that we have a lawful right to do, right? So. Okay. Yeah. Anything else? No, that's it, man. Cool. All right, you're dismissed. <laughs> All right, guys, so you can see the unprofessionalism. Uh, I got this lady here who keeps following me around. I don't know what's up with her. But uh, I'm calling can... the police on you. Are you calling the police? Okay, make sure you tell them I said hi. Penrose Library follow-up, scene two, take one.
Charles Pyatt, the supervisor security guard who violated the law yesterday by doxing us. What's up, Justin? What's up? Charles working today? No, he's not here today. He's not here today? So. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we just came by to have a conversation with him. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're out no? of luck today. Okay. Who's in charge today? Uh, we're all, none of You're us all, are supervisors, no? so, okay. yeah. Well, can you What's pass that? a message to him? What's so, that? yesterday, uh, when you and him were over there talking to the patrons, and you guys said my first and last name, you didn't, but Charles did. He uh -huh. said, this is, and he said my full name, and then he said her name. Okay. So, that's actually this law here that's actually in your guys' policy that you guys try to use to keep us from recording. Uh -huh. It's CRS 24-90-119, Privacy of User Records. I was telling you about it yesterday. The state's a publicly supported li library shall not disclose any information of per a person having used the library. So Charles Pyatt broke the law. So um, I actually went, we just left the police station. I just filed a complaint. Okay. So we have it on file there. We've got a case number and everything. So can you go ahead and just pass that along to him that um, he's a violation of the law and it's a, it's a civil charge. So we have standing to, to sue him now and Pikes oh. Peak Library District. Okay. Can I get that case number from you? No. Okay. We have like West Region security cards. They're just general though, you know? There's that. Can we get one of those? Yeah, sure. What did you ask me? I'm just Dustin for you. Yeah. You're just Dustin for me? Yeah. What's your last name, Dustin? Myers. Why is it like that? What's your last name? Well, I'm sure you already know that. You already said my first name. You guys know us, so why can't we know you? This is just West Region Security, which is what we're part of. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. What location? Yes, I'm not sure. I think they're having yeah. a meeting at oh, various okay. ones. Okay, he's at another location. Okay. Oh, he's at another location today? Yeah. Did you get the generic card? Got this. Okay. Security officer West. Oh, the West Region. Yeah, it's the this West Region. Officer, <laughs> I know. Okay. South Region. Do you, do you know which one he's at? No, I don't. He won't tell us. Of course not. <laughs> but you can, ex you can at least, I mean, you talk to him probably on the regular, right? Yeah, I can pass along your message, yeah. definitely. I will pass along. Cool. Thank and, you. And just before we leave, you know that we can record patrons in here, right? So you can do about That's that. That's not what I'm told, but. So you're still, do that. you're still holding your ground on that? I mean, I got to, if that's what I'm told is the deal, you okay, know? Yeah, well, who's telling you that? So we kind of like try to get to the bottom of this. Yeah, um, I don't know. It's just part of our policy, so. So you're still holding on to this, your policy? <laughs> sure. That you can't report patrons? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what we but, go off of. We're not police officers or anything, right. but it is right. private property and all that, so. This is private property? Yeah. Oh, who's the owner? Pikes Peak Library District. Oh, so it's public property then, right? Private. No. How's it private if it's a public library? Well, it's, I mean, the, the property is the libraries. It's not the cities or anything or the counties. Right. But do you know who funds the library? Uh, people who pay property tax in El exactly. Paso County. Exactly, so property taxes. So taxes pay for it. That means it's not private. If it was private, that'd be like McDonald's. Right. Like if you own a business, this is publicly funded. So it's not private property, Dustin. Well, there's all types of private property that's you know, could be publicly funded. Like well, military bases. As, like where? Military bases. That's absolutely not private property. Yeah, my taxes. We'll try to uh, go on one. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm not saying that, just because it's public property doesn't mean you can go on any public property. That's true. Just like I can't even go behind like the restricted area right there, like in the offices. I can't go back there. That's mm. public property. Doesn't mean I can go back there. We can go in the public areas. So you're trying to say that, that Penrose Public Library is private property, like you understand. It is, that. yeah. <laughs> it uh, actually so, is. So I'm on private property right now. Yeah. Okay, but you said that the owner is Pikes Peak. That's Library what everybody. District. I mean, that's just the fact of it. But you're saying that it's not owned by <laughs> it's not owned by the city or the county. It's owned by the library district. So. So were you trained that in your training, or is that in your policy? That's just what it is. That's just what it is, huh? Dustin mm -hmm. says that's Dustin. So yeah. So if there's an owner, if it's private and there's an actual owner, it would be a physical person. Oh, look who it is. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, we'll pass along that message for y'all. Hey, I got a question for you, man. You wanna talk to me? You don't wanna talk to me anymore? 
It's not private property, Dustin. You're making yourself look not too bright, man. It's private property. All right, guys, so Dustin thinks that the public library is private property, guys. I mean, this is crazy. So we're gonna have to basically do several revisits at Penrose Library. This is, this is ridiculous, man.